Okay, so today we are talking about the HK EPC hardware article uh, in which the Core i7-9700K, which is an upcoming processor down the line, looks like it'll be coming in the second half of 2018. It will be a Cannon Lake processor. Uh, the, the article here is a translation, and it looks like these processors are at least rumored to have 8 cores and 16 threads. Now, that would be up from the current i7 processors, which are 6 cores and 12 threads. So it looks like Intel may actually be pushing up cores and threads even more than they already have with Coffee Lake. Now, the source for this particular article from HKEPC is going to be a Taiwanese motherboard manufacturer. Now, this article can be a little bit difficult to read because it is being translated by Google Translate. So I will leave the link down in the description below in case you are interested in reading it. But the article doesn't just claim that the i7, uh, presumably 9700K, could get that bump in cores and threads. The article also points out that i5s would be upgraded to have hyper-threading on top of their already six cores that they do have, which would give them a total of six cores and 12 threads. And the i3s could also feature hyper-threading, which would give them four cores and eight threads, which would be fascinating because then those i3s of the Cannon Lake generation would actually match in core and thread count the i7s from the KB Lake generation. And then below all of this, we actually get a snapshot of what the entire uh, ninth generation may look like, uh, the entire lineup. That would be the uh, i7-9700K at the very top, and of course, the i3-9000 or 9000T at the very bottom, uh, ranging from a TDP of 95 watts at the very high end, clear down to 35 watts at the very low end. Now, I would also encourage you, if you're looking around at this rumor, to also to jump around to some of the other websites that have done a little bit of digestion for you as well. I'll link this Guru 3D article down below as well. They actually give you the same chart that I just looked at over on uh, the other website, the HKEPC website. But then they also give us an Intel roadmap starting with the Skylake processors going through KB Lake and then, of course, through Coffee Lake. Now, what's interesting and worth noting here is that the Cannon Lake processors are going to be uh, utilizing the Z390 chipset, but hopefully, and it looks like it's promising, uh, if you have a Z370 chipset motherboard with a BIOS update, you should still be able to run a Cannon Lake processor in those. At least that's what I'm finding as I look across the internet. However, of course, Intel doesn't exactly have the greatest track record with maintaining motherboard compatibility from generation to generation. So we can still cross our fingers on that, uh, but d definitely don't bank on that as if it's definitely going to happen, though it is looking promising, at least with the information I've been finding lately. And then, of course, if we jump over to Amazon right now, uh, on the Intel side of things, Coffee Lake processors are still pretty difficult to find. Earlier today, I actually found the 8700K at uh, $400 on Amazon. Obviously, it's gone back up to $460 since then. But then again, the 8700 is available on Amazon as well as the 8100 and the 8350K. But the processor to really have... The i5-8400 is still MIA on Amazon, so again, with these Intel current generation processors as Coffee Lake, they're very difficult to find still. So if you're building something new, you may want to wait a little bit longer until Coffee Lake demand and supply sort of uh, works itself out and these processors make their way to their MSRP price points. And I'll go ahead and link some of these Coffee Lake processors down below so you can check them out and see if they're in stock as of the time you're viewing this. But if you are not in the market for a new processor just yet and you are thinking about uh, the second half of next year as being your processor upgrade, then the Cannon Lake processors, once they hit the market, may represent a great value. Of course, this depends on the price point that they enter the market at. Regardless, we've seen with Coffee Lake, the core count and thread count go higher and it looks like Cannon Lake may may be taking that even further, and you can really thank AMD and the Ryzen processors for driving up core and thread counts, or at least putting some pressure on Intel. Hopefully the price points make these processors affordable, and we can start seeing high core and high thread counts in the mainstream on the desktop side of things. But of course, this is just a rumor, so I want to hear your thoughts down below. Does this news or rumor excite you? And uh, if you are looking to upgrade in about a year, is Cannon Lake definitely on your radar, or are you going to be looking elsewhere like perhaps AMD for your next processor upgrade? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe, or comment down below. Those things help me out a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.